Hello everybody, Quentin here. Today we're continuing the harvest. And, oh dear, this is not going to go to plan. I've turned the wrong way, that's why it's not going to go to plan. Oh dear. We are continuing the harvest. The Zetor is 61% full. I've decided to just fill the trailer every time. So we'll get two empty, well, an empty in a bit out of every um, into the trailer out of every run back to the farm which granted it's not far but it, it should save a bit of time in theory now the issue is going to be getting these lines done in a moment because we're going to be jumping around the field but the first issue is going to be sorting out the uh, the harvester emptying it out and, and uh, putting the crop into storage. I've spoken to Dave and he said he would like us to come over for the um, the grain harvest in Thornton and to drive the class. So I will do that. Here we go. Full up. Um, the only thing is he doesn't know we're giving it to him yet. So he's still, he's still got the surprise coming. Can we get out through there? I think we can, I think. Yes, that is a large enough gap in the crop. So he has no idea that he's about to um, inherit our harvester. And I have no idea how he's going to react. I'm going to have a word with him and see if I can't convince him to hand over his baler that he currently has, as well as some equipment for that. As I completely make Hames come on out the gate. There we go. Um, he has baling equipment that I would quite like, and I think the baler is maybe perhaps a bit too small for his farm. Um, <clears throat> it produces 4,000 litre bales, and I think he, he should really be making bigger bales than that. So I'm going to have a word with him about that, and see if I can have any look. As you can see, the, the class is still there. We haven't been over there yet. It's still only late summer, and he said it'll be early autumn when um, his grain crop is ready to be harvested, so he'll be going over then. But in the meantime, I wonder would it be worth would it be worth selling some crop now? How much is wheat selling for currently? It is selling for seven hundred twenty-three pounds at the grain store. Where is the grain store? It is over there. So down there, there, there. It's up by the shop. <laughs> Yes, let's sell a couple of trailer loads of wheat because I think that is going to be our way forward here. If we can get the correct turn going, this should be the correct turn here. Yes. Um, this should, in theory, well, it will give us more money to play with. And the joy of that is we can then potentially just buy a baler ourselves or upgrade some equipment. Now, the best case scenario would be that we can afford a baler ourselves and work from there. We'll also need to get the um, baler we currently have out of the farm entirely. 
I don't see need for that anymore. It's a, a legacy piece of equipment from the previous owner. And it's just not large enough. Not large enough by any means for our needs. So plan is we get rid of the old baler, the small baler. We move towards getting a larger baler and uh, making larger bales. We may even rid ourselves of the current mower, the Massey Ferguson, and actually get two mowers in, uh, for which we would actually require a tractor with a front three-point linkage. But that may not be the biggest problem in the world. I'm sure we can find one. It would just be a case of having a look. Now, one thing we do need to do, uh, potentially, is redo the grass mowing around the town. The yards are getting a bit long again. And I've heard word that the locals were, indeed, impressed with the work I did for them. In fact, they were so impressed, they shouted at me very loud. So I, I believe I will mow their grass and lawns again. and uh, figure out what to do after that. Now the bigger issue is getting over to the <laughs> to the grain store to sell this this crop. It's not uh, not the shortest journey in the world. There we go. And this is not the fastest tractor in the world. I should... The... Oh! I've just remembered the... The same has a front three-point linkage. That may work in our favour. Not entirely sure, but I think it will. That may, w that may very well work in our favour. If we can get a front three-point linkage going then we don't need to worry about getting a new tractor just to do some mowing. We can just worry about what to do with the current mower, which is going to be sold off. Um, because if, 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 if I were to get, we'll, we'll say for argument's sake, if we just uh, stop up here and, and look at the mowers. If we were to get the Pottinger Novicat and Novicat 301, uh, or even the New Holland Disc Pine, which granted is more American style, but would work uh, for our needs as well, that would be by quite a large margin, less price than the even just the mower itself, 15,800. Add on the mowing deck, which is another 25,000. It, it saves a lot of money there. So I'm thinking maybe moving to a two mower setup um, instead of a one mower setup might be the way that we want to go. I'm also thinking today might be the day to do that, well, to purchase at the very least decide what mower we want to use going forward. I think the disc bind might be a bit too... Well, we can figure that out too, can't we? Because this mower has a width of 5 meters, okay. And the New Holland disc bind has a width of 4 meters, okay. 3 meters and 3 meters, that's 6 meters, that's an addition of 1 meter of working with for less price. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going here. I would be led to believe it's going to be in here somewhere due to the giant grain bins. Let me see. Is it in this shed here? It is in this shed here. This 
So let's sell off some of the wheat. Let's see how we're doing with money. Six, seven, eight, nine thousand. So we can now for the Novica 302. Could get the Kuhn GMD 4411 or the class disco. They're both more expensive than what we currently have though. 16,000 pounds. In, a, in an ideal world, we'd be able to run the Lily, Lily Splendimo. But I don't think the same can just about run it. Hmm. And now I'm, I'm having second thoughts as to whether the same even has a front three point linkage. I think, in terms of speed, our best bet for moving this crop around is going to be the same. In fact, maybe not. I'm going to pull this in over here to the hedge row. I'm going to try out plan B. Which is, in fact, the opal. Because this is at the cow yard. This can run at speed. Well, a, a higher speed than the, the same can, anyway. Which, to say the least bit, to say the least I possibly can, is potentially more useful. Now, there is a very real chance that it can't... Um, held as much as the Zetor, but the simple fact that it can move faster, we're going 43 kilometers per hour right now, and it's got a trailer effectively on its back, is um, incredibly helpful. Now the downside is we can't change the uh, capacity of this. We can't put an extension on top, which would be very convenient. So that is the downside, but what we can do is go over to the field, go over to the field even, empty out the combine harvester and see what the capacity of the Opal Blitz flatbed is like. There we go. It's at least 4,000 litres. So 3,200 litres gets us 80% full, which is in no way convenient, but this is now in the trailer, so we might, or in, in, in the Opal, so we might as well um, bring it over to the shop and set it off. Now the Opal I, believe, I think I shall leave at the shop because I want Mr. Declan to have a look at it and see if he can do any upgrades ready for our trip to Thornton. Um, Dave said that I could stay the night and just park up in front of his house. So I believe that's what I shall do. I'm in this awful situation where I, I, I can't... Bubba's off sending himself somewhere in Spain at the moment. So I can't um, do any work as, as such. I, I really wish I could have Bubba um, running the harvester, but I can't. He's just not, not around at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how the camera, uh, the drone is working with this, but okay. There we go. Our best case scenario here would be potentially a bit silly. Because our best case scenario would be to rent a loader truck and let's say run a rigid bodied lorry around the farm. I don't know if that would be a good idea, though.
I really don't know. It would definitely be the best idea in terms of freeing up equipment. Um, but in terms of cost to advantage ratio, I don't know. Because we, we would still require um, fuel. And then we're paying the rental cost on top. However, I think one thing is for certain, and I think what is for certain is Sergei is not going to be coming back to this farm anytime soon. So I think the best case scenario would be to sell the Zito and work with a reduced fleet of tractors. The Zetor was just effectively there for Sergei to use. I have heard he's a return to Russia for some reason. Uh, or Bel Bulgaria or wherever he's from. I've heard he's returned there so I don't think I don't think that's the best idea. Although I have heard he's, he's in talks with the um, or rather unseemly chaps that we um, had an unfortunate interaction with in Vent Honwin before. I have heard that he is talking to them about working off his debt for a few months and that they might allow us back into Vent Honwin um, free of charge, which would be incredibly nice on the condition that Mr. Dave actually owns the farm. Um, do we have a truck we could use? No, there is no, tr not, no truck we could use. Blast. Um, I think the Opal can stay there. And I think... I think selling s some of our tractors would be a, a good cause here. So let's have a look at what we've got. We can sell this and this. And the Zito can go away. What else can go? The Ford I want to keep for myself. Um, the International 644 can stay for now. What do we have in terms of used vehicles? Not a lot of use. If New Holland 110. 100 horsepower. It's more useful. Top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Well, let's get a 110. Ah, 162 horsepower. That's more like it. Uh, dual beacons. Like that. If we get this then, we actually still have money to buy mowers. And what horsepower requirement are the butterfly style mowers? 160 horsepower. So if 160, 160 plus 70 is 230. And our most powerful tractor is 160. 70 plus 80 is 150. So if we had to buy... Well, I think I think our logical step here should be check the um, New Holland here. New Holland by Fiat Agri, apparently. So this only has a rear, a rear thing. So... Perhaps a look into renting a tractor for mowing might be an idea. Hmm. Because I don't think if I were to have a look here, this does have a front three point linkage. Hang on a moment. This does. Ah. That opens up a new possibility. How powerful is our same? 170 horsepower. 
which means that it could run this mirror in addition to this mirror, which now gets a six meters in mirroring co coverage. Um, what else could we use that would be of use? Um, I want to get rid of this sip. That can go. As can the plow. As can this baler and this trailer. Um, this can also go and I completely forgot to return that. That has been costing us money for a while. What else can go? I think that's going to be it for now. And I think what would be of use would be a hay bob. A Vicon hay bob. Oh, used! 3,250. Yes, this will be of use. And do we have a large window already? We do. Now, balers, 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 balers are always going to be a problem. 50,000 for that. 21,200 for this. I think if we were to buy this and buy. Ooh, that's on sale. That is 10,400 on sale. This is 15,600. Okay, so the marshal is currently in the lead for what would be useful. But I think because this is a dolly trailer, it may prove more useful. Although this DPW is cheaper. Let's get this. And that is going to be it for our purchases for now. Let us get the New Holland 11090 over to over to the um, the yard because that in fact let, shall we sell more crop I think the best option is to sell more crop right now we're going it ah this is much better 40 kilometers an hour almost Almost, but not quite, but it is faster than what we were going before. So... I think this is probably our... Our best bet moving forward is to have this machine pulling that trailer. And potentially even moving the bailer around. Because now we've got two fast tractors. And two slower ones. The slower tractors, like the um, the Ford, with a slower tractor, the Ford can actually pull quite a lot of weight. So that is going to be our workhorse tractor for doing the field work. Um, this machine here can do a lot of the carting, as can the same. But I think for right now, this is going to be our, our machine running forward um, with the harvest, with crop sales. So I think let's sell off one more load of wheat and see how we are doing there. I believe there's not many people using the Fiat Agri New Holland 11090. So, they're quite rare these days, it seems. Or they're not particularly fashionable, one of the two. I know that farming tends to be a bit of a fashionable industry, where new fashions are, are followed religiously by some people, and Others just ignore fashion and then go with what they like. This is our turn off here. This machine sounds wonderful. I do like it. So, moving forward, we'll be using the New Holland 11090. And 
Um, this shall be our own, well, this and the Ford shall be effectively our own tractors. So we can get much work done in very little time. Eighty-seven point five is tuned into the radio. I wonder what that means. It would also help if I don't. Good lord, it's warm in here. Is there a sunroof? There is. Open the sunroof, please. Open the blasted sunroof. And the rear window. That should allow some air in. Cool me off nicely. Allow me to hit the gate in a new way. Come on, get through the opening there, through the gateway. Indicators work, which is always good. Let's just pull up here and fill up this trailer with wheat. So we can bring it over to the shop and see what this is like. Unloading. I am quite fond of the New Holland here. It does, oddly enough, look right in red. The um, lovely terracotta paint scheme of the old Fiat Agris is a particular fondness of mine. Although I think it may need four-wheel drive switched on. As I noticed it was it has been spinning the rear wheels quite a lot. So let's get the drone to take a picture for us. There we go. That is not going to be the picture I keep. Let's get another picture here. There we go, that's a picture worth keeping. So, back off to the shop with another load of wheat. And we should be good to continue on with the harvest in the next video. I hope. Assuming nothing goes wrong. We may do some, some baling and test out our new baler, however. Um, I shall use the round bales for wheat, uh, for straw, and then make square bales of grass that can be wrapped up with the, the wrapper. I'm going to try and get off Dave, um, as well as the baler, obviously. If I can get those two items, that that will be all I need. That will be this farm ready to succeed into the future. Um, especially since we have the hay bob now to do some some smaller work. Although we don't have many small fields, we can we can use the hay bob on the smaller fields. And um, once we've got a, a, a windrow made, we can use that to windrow or to tear the windrows. So for making hay, we'll actually windrow the field twice. Once with the two rotor windrow. Then go over with the hay bob to tet it, and then go over with the hay bob once again. The tines in a slightly different positioning, uh, and running slower, to just neaten up the row a bit, so we can make those lovely hay bales. Um, I think that will be a good idea moving forward, just to get everything running as as relatively well as we can. We have point 0.1 of an hour, I believe, on the, the clock here, on the tachometer. Zero, 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 one. Yeah, let's see if it will notch up to two. It does look like it's moving. Is it going to notch up to two while we're sitting here? Come on. Give the little notchy. We're full of fuel and seem to have middling weight on the rear. Assuming that is what that 
item on the back is about. But our fuel gauge is full, which is always beautiful to see in a tractor. It won't be like that for long, because we will be working this beast quite heavily. It doesn't seem to want to notch up to two. However, I'm going to end the video here with some unloading of the wheat. Some sales. I will leave you by saying I've been actually wait. I believe there is more work that we can do today. Hang on a moment, because I believe I pulled out a loan at some point. And that loan will require paying off. Let's have a look. Oh dear. We owe £65,000. Yes, that is going to be quite a lot of payment going back. Um, I will leave you now by saying I've been Quentin. You've been watching my wonderful exploits on Orchard Farm. I hope you enjoyed. Until I see you again, pip pip, cheerio, and goodbye.